It's a crazy world we're living in right now. A barber is being hauled through the courts for discrimination for saying he's not qualified to cut a female child's hair. Uni students have been taken before the courts for discrimination because they gave some offhand comments on Facebook. Well, there's now another out there proposal before the Queensland Parliament. The Palaszczuk government has issued a discussion paper with a proposal to allow a person to readily change their official gender on birth certificates and on government documents. What that means is that you don't have to have a sex change to legally change your sex. It can be changed at whim and as often as you like. Now while at first glance that mightn't seem like a big deal, we've got to think about the implications of this change. I really don't care what adults do in private, but it's got the potential to affect everyone in practical ways, including you. You could be required to accept a large male weightlifter in the female competition in the sporting arena. You could be required to accept that adults with all of the physical attributes of a male belong in the bathroom with women and girls. And if you don't accept it, well, that's the kind of thing that could land you in trouble before the law and your discrimination commission. It means biological men in women's prisons, biological men in women's domestic violence refuges, and potentially vice versa. This is extreme stuff, and it could make women and girls seriously vulnerable if abused. You've got to ask, who's pulling the strings behind this government? It really looks like it's the ideological Marxist left. Now's the time for you to speak up so that the Queensland government hears common sense. Have your say by sending an email to bdmlegislativereview at justice.queensland.gov.au.